Okay, I'm going to fill this case now with my one inch glitter comets. But let me just show you this, this one I finished first. This is the first break. And as you can see, there's, there's six rows in there. They're one inch high, these comets. I've got 19 per row. I couldn't quite squeeze a 20th in there. So what I've done, I had a bit of a gap. So I've put a liner inside here. The liner is six and an eighth inches high. And it just gives me a little bit of space at the top which I'm later going to fill with with polvorone before I put my end disc on it. And you can see that the, the comets, they're not lined up on one another in a straight line there. They're staggered. One is sitting on two others. And it's the same way as you would build a, a brick wall to get strength. And building the shell this way makes it immensely strong. Once the end disc goes in here, you could probably put this shell in the hydraulic press and get uh, quite a bit of pressure on there before it gave way. And this is particularly important when you're building a, a big multi-brake shell. They're long, they're heavy, they've got a big lift charge and you've got to have good integrity to your shell, good strength, it's got to be absolutely solid. And then when you stack them together and they're fired from the gun, there's no opportunity for this to compress at all. This, this wall of comets laid, laid like bricks around the outside here, the center filled with cut stars, it's, it's not going to fail, it's not going to compress. If I were to fill the entire shell with just cut stars, it really wouldn't provide enough strength on a big multi-brake like this to, to withstand the lift without rupturing. You can get away with it on, on a small one, a, a three brake four inch or something maybe a maybe a five inch but really on a, a six and anything bigger you you ought to be using comets as, as a, a wall around the periphery of the shell ordinarily you'd use comets a bit bigger than this maybe an inch, inch and an eighth inch and a half uh, due to the fact that I don't have a an inch and an eighth comet pump I've used my star plate to make these inch ones and I've got 114 comets in here. This is, this formula is uh, listed in the, the database on the forum. I'm not sure if it's Mike Swisher's or attributed to him or his favorite, but it's, it's a glitter mix with his name on it. And I test fired one of them out of a star gun tonight and they do look really, really nice. I can't wait to see 140 of them go off at the same time. Now I'm going to fill this case now the same way as I've done this one. And I think you saw in another video I, I put a, a bed of pulverone in the bottom before I put insert shells on these stars are not primed and they're nice and flat on the bottom they don't need to sit on a bed of anything they just sit up against the the end disc here around the bottom. It's a bit of a tedious job this and it gets a bit easier as you come up to the top. Now this last one isn't a tight fit in there so I'm going to use some of these wooden spacers. They've got a little edge on them where I can get them in. That one's gone in a little bit tight and I reckon one on the opposite side about the same width will make it really tight and I can turn it upside down if they're not going to drop out that's tight enough <clears throat> I'll just use a tamping stick 
and just make sure that they're all up against the, the case wall and not sticking out, there's no gap in there, make sure they're, and make sure they're all well seated. And I take a handful of, of rough powder, this rough powder I've granulated to, I think it's about 3 FA. And just turn the shell case as you shake it down to the spaces. Two FA is a bit big to get in here. If you were using one and an eighth or one and a half inch comets, you'd probably get away with it, but it's a bit difficult to pack on these small spaces. Then I've got this small stick with a triangular section on. Just fits nicely in the, the gap there. You know, it's funny, I had a guy in my workshop a couple of weeks ago I won't tell you his name, but he is from a very famous Italian firework making family. His family make fireworks in a factory in Italy. They've been making them for generations. And he actually runs a, a factory in China making ball shells. And uh, when I first came across him, I checked him out on the internet and I saw all these pictures of him making great salami shells in Italy in his early days. He's about 60 now and these pictures are, were of him when he was in his 20s. So he obviously knows a bit about making cylinder shells. And he picked up a shell I got comets in like this, a six inch shell, and I packed it with pulverone and he said, why are you uh, packing the spaces like that? What have you got in there? I said, rough powder to uh, just consolidate it and make sure there's no air spaces between the comets. And to my surprise he said, oh no, no, you, you don't need to do that. You just leave the spaces empty. He said if it was a, a shell with two inch insert shells or something, yes you need to just pack a little bit of something in there to consolidate it, but you don't need to on, on small comets like this. And since then I've always wondered if it's really necessary doing what I'm doing, packing the, the spaces, but I still go ahead and do it at the moment. He also told me that on Italian shells they use round stars after putting a layers of comets in on a shell like this the inside they fill with round stars not cut stars which was another surprise okay I'm putting my second layer and you can see I'm, I'm putting them so that they bridge the the layer beneath Again, just tap them up against the shell wall, make sure they're, they're lined up. A wedge on that side. Tight. Same thing again, pulverone.
I guess if nothing else, putting the pole around there and the spaces here aids the ignition of the, of the comet itself, so it can't be a bad thing. Be careful when you're doing this that you're not forcing the comet away from the shell wall. Just make sure that it's still touching the shell wall all the way around. A couple of fillings normally does it. You don't need to ram it in there with a hammer and you just need to push it in. And then just brush the, the grains off the top of your, your comet so that when you put the next, the next row in you're not sitting on an uneven surface. Again stagger them. I fired one of these at the star gun tonight with no prime on it, lit just fine. And uh, I'll probably like just fine in here without any prime, but what I'm going to do later is to paint the inside of the wall of comets here and put some prime over the inside edge of everything. I'll show you later how I do that. My fourth row going in there. 